is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. We're like any other normal couple out on a regular date. Normal? You got quite an imagination, Dinah. So do you, Jeffrey, or have you stopped imagining that I'm Cassie when we're alone together? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, forget that I said that. This is going to be a lovely evening, and I don't want to do anything to ruin it, okay? Lovely evening. What, is this a big night for you? We're having dinner, Dinah. I do this every night. Yes, but dinner out in public. For everybody to see, we don't have to hide our relationship anymore, especially from Cassie. We don't have a relationship, Dinah. You work for me. We get together from time to time. That's it. Jeffrey, now you know that it is more than that. You adore me. Which is why I've decided it's time. Time for what? Time to meet the folks. What is that? It's Ruth's stuff. I can't get dressed at the boarding house. Between my father and Coop and Marina and Frank and the boys, we're all living out of one bathroom. You can imagine what that's like. <laughs> yeah, um, look, I'm sorry. I haven't had time to go over to Spalding to get more evidence from the car yet. No, so it's okay. It's there. okay. Right. My mission actually involves the hit and run. I think I know a way to prove that Philip was driving the car. How? Not how. Who? Lizzie. I saw her. I think she knows what Philip did that night. All I have to do is get her to fess up. You're going to get her to rat out her father. Good luck. Sandy. How you feeling? Better. Any word on that gentleman that hit you and ran away? Uh, not yet. They're looking into it, I guess. Yeah, they are. My son is a police chief, and he doesn't take things like that lightly. Yeah, Frank. He's a good guy. How's the book? Oh, it's good enough so that I don't mind having an empty restaurant. Mm -hmm. You can borrow it after I'm finished with it. Ah, oh, thanks, but I don't think I'll be around long enough to read it and return it. You're leaving town. Well, that seems like the smart thing to do at this point. Why? Why in the world would you lie to Reva about being her son? That wasn't the plan when I came to Springfield. But the opportunity presented itself and you couldn't resist. Is it for money? No, money was the last thing on my mind. I... I just wanted a family like the Lewises. Well, they're a good bunch. You could have done worse. And I blew it. You could straighten it out, you know. Doubtful. A long time ago, I ran out of my kids and I came back. And they wanted nothing to do with me. But I toughed it out, and you know, here I am. Yeah, but the Lewises aren't my real family. The Lewises cared for you. You still care for them. You want them back in your life? You're gonna have to tough it out. You're gonna have to fight for them. I, no, no, I don't. Hey, you made a mistake. So you fix it. What do you got to lose? I'm going to take a walk. Help yourself if you want something. How are the newlyweds? Oh, you're not in a talkative mood? That's okay. Then just listen. Should you feel the sudden inclination to purge your guilty conscience and tell your son that it was you who tried to have Olivia deported, don't because your son will not be happy with the kind of trouble that you've gotten him into. Unlike you, I think my son can handle Olivia. I'm not talking about the marriage, Billy. I'm talking about the investigation. The investigation? Yeah. You see, as a responsible citizen, I, I just felt that it was my duty to inform the INS that their union might not be on the up and up. And, you know, interestingly enough, they already had their doubts. You see what you started? Yes, A Agent Lafferty, yes, with the INS. We met at Towers. Yeah, how can I... How can I forget? Well, what, uh, what can I do for you? Well, of course, Olivia and I are living as man and wife. Uh, yeah, you want to stop by? Uh, sure, sure, no, no problem. When? Um, well, uh, now is not the best time, because I have to, uh... Yeah, but I, I, but if you just get, I understand. All right, well, I'll uh, see you soon. Great. 
the guy is coming here tonight. You'll never get away with this. Olivia's stuff isn't even here. Sure it is. You don't mind if I borrow this, do you? <clears throat> well, it's not really Olivia's style or size, uh, I might pardon. add. He is a guy. He's not going to notice these things. He's an INS agent. He is trained to notice everything. Oh, this is great. You have makeup here. So what I'm going to do is I'll stick this in the bathroom. I'll lay out an extra toothbrush and we are all set. <laughs> you hope so. All right. I would stay and help you. But I no, no, go. no. You, you go do what you got to do, Ruthie, baby. Okay? <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's your favorite sister. What are you up to? Right now, pain and torment. Are you with Lizzie? Uh-huh. At Farley's. And guess what? Harley, she has me dog-sitting. Okay. Well, well, trust me when I say this too shall pass. Just hang in there. Hang tough. Okay? I'll be in touch. Listen to me. Yeah. Lizzie is at Farley's bar right now. I am going over there, and I am going to put the screws to her, mm. and I am going to make her tell me what she knows about the hit and run that night if it kills her. Good luck. Wow. Look at that. Yes, Dinah didn't tell me that O'Neill was going to be here. You knew Dinah was going to be here? You, you set me up? Blake. Dina said that. Russ, do you know how furious I was with you when you, you stopped me from going on that trip with Sebastian and my mother? It was everything I could do just to come out to dinner with you, and now you pull this? Look, Dina said that she had some good news. I thought it would be nice for a change for us to share something. I'm not sharing anything with her. I am not going to that table. I'm not sitting at that table with her. I can't. She's my daughter. You are her stepmother. She's in town. We're in town. You can't keep from dealing with her forever. You want to bet? I have to hit the powder room. I need a deep breath. Yes, this is the mayor's wife. That favor I had in the works, I need it now. It looks like Blakey just had another tantrum and hurt my father's feelings again. Where, where are you going? Where I am going to ask him to still join us for dinner. Just let it be. No, I'm not. I am going to show my father and everybody else in this town that I am moving on and making a wonderful life for myself. And that I am beyond such childishness, even if Blake isn't. Excuse me. That... Excuse me. Did Blake leave? Um, she just went to get a breath of fresh air. What is going on, Dinah? What is O'Neill doing here? He is having dinner with his girlfriend. I am not only working for Jeffrey, but uh, I am dating him as well. This thing with Bill and the INS, I don't want you to take this personally. Oh, gee, I, I feel a lot better now. It's business, Bill, pure and simple. See, I, I have to have Lewis Oil and Lewis Construction, and you and your family are standing in my way. At least you finally admit that. Of course. Why not? Look, I've got this dirt on you, and that's golden. But if you come clean to Bill, I lose all that leverage. So I had to figure out a way that I could keep you from being tempted to do that. Because I do think that he would probably forgive you for putting him in a position where he had to marry Olivia. But forgive you for sending him to jail? I don't think so. You made a mistake when you went after my family. Now you got yourself trouble. So do something about it. I had to run some errands before the store closed. You don't mind, do you? I didn't want to leave him in the car. Hey! Give me this. Give me this. Okay. Give me this. You can't go on like this, Olivia. What? Living apart, all right? You got to move in with me. Now, look, I already put some stuff in the closet for you, see? <gasps> oh, gosh, they're beautiful. Um, nice. No, yeah. they're, you know, they're not my style, and they're kind of large. We don't have to move in right away. It's yes, not a we do. Deal. The Why? INS is snooping around Towers. They want to interview the both of us. I thought I'd put him off for a while, but they just called. He wants to come by tonight. Tonight? Yes, tonight. I already put some makeup and stuff in the in the bathroom. But if you can do, you know, your womanly ways here, no. please feel free to. Oh, I should go to the beacon to get my stuff. No, I should no, get no, some no, stuff. No, no, no. Listen to me. We don't have time for that. Okay. Now just let's take a deep breath, relax, get comfortable, settle down. Okay. All right. All right. So if he's coming, then we should we should um, we should talk. Yeah. We should, what kind of questions do you think he's going to ask us? Uh, probably the usual, you know, like uh, family routine, who gets up first in the morning, who makes the coffee, stuff well, like that. Well, who does get up in the first morning? Who makes the coffee? I don't know. Um, that would... Ah! Relax. Take a deep breath with me. <sighs> Let me handle this. I'm the smooth talker. Huh? No, you got a bigger mouth for BS, okay? You do it. You're so sweet. All right, we can do this. We can? We can. 
Mm. Hi, Aunt Olivia. Did you miss me? So cute. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you have two cats. Uh -huh. oh, I love cats. <laughs> See, most guys don't like them, but me, I'm just. Uh, I'm excuse me. Uh, can I borrow my driver for a minute? Aren't you supposed uh, to be filling the tires with air? Something like that? Um, he's not supposed to be socializing, miss. Thank you. <laughs> no, Ashley, wait, if I, if <laughs> Lizzie, do you realize what you just did? I was about to get her number. Do you realize you were just using my dog as chick bait? Jealous? Please, come on. Oh, that's a good comeback. Don't talk to me like that. Lizzie, I'm gonna talk to you the way I feel like talking to you. First off, the only reason why I'm doing this job is because I have to, not because I want to. Secondly, unlike the Spaulings, when the Coopers cause damage, we actually step up to the plate and we take the hit. We certainly do not run away. Well, maybe people just get scared sometimes. Not everybody can be as brave as you. Hey, 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 hey. I know you. You're Philip Spaulding's new flunky, aren't you? The one that's helping him torture my son. You here to do more damage? I can't believe that you're dating the district attorney. Sweetheart, you don't know O'Neill the way that I do. He's a womanizer without scruples. I mean, the man is, is rude and... Well, it's a match made in heaven. We'll leave you lovebirds alone, all right? No. no. Stay, please, join us for dinner. I'm doing everything I can to straighten out my life. Sweetheart, we'll stay for one drink. No, we will not. One drink, Blake. Honey, lead the way. Jeffrey. Mr. Mayor. Mrs. Mayor. One drink. Well, you're really biting the bullet for your husband. There, oh, a aren't bullet. You, Blake? There's an interesting metaphor for the woman who killed my brother. Okay, um, I think I'll get a waitress. Don't bother. Blake, why don't you sit down and uh, I will ask them for a couple more. Mrs. Marler? Thank you. That was fast. Thank you. What is that? It's for you, Dinah. Apparently, I won't be the one leaving after all. You will. What do you mean? It's a restraining order against me. Oh, great. You know, I, I've had enough to hear with people that are trying to hurt my family. Is that okay with you? Fine with me. I'm out of here. Good. Hey, when you hit the door, you should just keep on going till you get to another state. Before you go, where's uh, Buzz? He went for a walk. <laughs> See you, Billy. Hey, you know, you really are one lucky boy, Sandy. Oh, really? How do you figure that one? Well, you just waltz into town, you lie to everybody, then you just settle down in the middle of my family and have yourself a good old time. Matter of fact, you even got Reva to give her one of your organs. When you got hit in that car accident. I got hit in that car accident because I was saving Tammy's life. Yeah, well, you owed us that. Matter of fact, you owe us a lot more, but, you know, it's too bad you won't be around to pay it. They really are going to ride me out of town on the rails, huh? No, I think you're smart enough. I think you'll just leave on your own. I mean, Josh and me have enough trouble now with the real Johnson. They don't need any more from you. I've been beating myself up about what's been going on. But I tell you what, I love your family. I still do. I tried to be the best cousin, the best brother, the best son I could. I mean, yeah, I made a mistake, a huge mistake. You ever make a mistake? Yeah, but I didn't pretend I was somebody else. You never had to. And I made my mistake, and I'm owning up to it. I'm no hit-and-run driver. I'm going to stay in town, and I'm going to do what I can to fix it. And then I'll decide where I'm going. If I go. Maybe I can prove that, you know, maybe I do belong here with your family. Maybe I'm not going to give up on the Lewises. Maybe I'm not going to let them give up on me. Well, it's a free country. You can take your best shot. Yes, it is. I will. Nice place. What's the matter, Aunt Olivia? You don't recognize your own nephew? Jonathan. Are you sure? You weren't when Sandy Foster waltzed into town. I'm, gl I'm glad to see you. Why don't you come in? Come no, in. yeah, come in. Cousin Bill! Or is it... Is it Uncle Bill? 
I hear congratulations are in order. Really? Well, I've heard some things about you from Uncle Josh. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. What did you hear? Give Mariba a hard time. And just chalk it up to my tough upbringing. But, you know, you'd know about that, right? No, I didn't. And if I did, I would have done something please, about it. Olivia, please, please, you don't owe him any apologies. Now you gotta go. No, he doesn't. Excuse me. Come here. <laughs> Look, I Olivia. just... Yuck, I just... I can't talk right now, but I want to sit down. I, I want to hear your side of the story, and I want you to hear mine, all right? Okay? What? No, it's not all right. I do not want him here. He's my family. Well, well you know what? I'm your family now. At least that's what it says in the marriage license. And this is my place. I thought it was our place, Bill. Please, I'm not gonna get into this with you. Why? Hey, uh, you guys don't need to whisper on my account. I know that you only married him because you want to stay in the country. I heard the rumor. I don't want him here, Olivia. That's what it. about what I want? Do I gotta tell you what he's done to my Aunt Reba? Do, uh, you want me to get into that? You're not listening to my side of the story. Are you, are you listening to your side? Right now, your side of the story is not the most important thing. Are you please telling me my go. feelings don't matter? Are you kidding me? I'm not me? saying that. I'm saying I do not want him You don't even place. know I'm... him. You're listening to Josh and Reba. They don't know anything about him. He's either. gonna straighten things out with Josh. Oh, you didn't even please, think about please, please. 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 You didn't say that. You are? I'm, I'm the nephew. Hey, come on in. I want to introduce you to the happy couple. Ruth, isn't it? Isn't it, Ruth? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. that's right. <laughs> you, you here to harass my kid, courtesy of Philip Spaulding, you know, humiliate him a little bit more? Do you have any idea what that family has done to me and my kids, my kids who I'm grateful and proud every day to know? Do you people have a heart? Look at me. Look me in the eye when I talk to you. Fine, to hell with you. I don't know the first thing that's happened about me in my life. I could take a pretty good guess at it. Do you know my parents have been married so many times that I, I, I don't even know the count of it? Okay, have you ever had your father get married to your grandfather's witch of an ex-wife and get her pregnant on top of it? You just sit there and watch your father make one of the biggest mistakes in his life and you can't do a thing about it. And, and then he gets thrown in the loony bin on top of it and you have to go visit him there and, and, and he talks to you and he, and he doesn't remember anything. He looks at you and he doesn't even know who you are. I didn't know this stuff, Lizzie. Yeah, well, I'm did you know my mom got locked away too? Split personality. She, she, she lost her mind. She, she was acting like the town slut. Yeah, that was a real riot, Coop. Believe me, and I thought it was bad when I had leukemia when I was little. I knew that. I had just forgotten. Yeah. Did you know I almost died? I don't know, sometimes I wish I had. Because all my life has been up until now is having jerks like you tell me how my life is so messed up, but yet I always get what I want. And you know what? I don't get what I want. You're completely wrong. Just shut up and leave me alone, please. What was that, Roxy? Uh, that, my son, would be a Spalding woman in top form. Hi, Ruth. What are you doing here? Well, dear, your father wanted me to check on you, make sure you are all right. Fine. Well, it's just that he's afraid you'll say something, dear. You know, spilled beans. Because you're here, in this place, Lizzie, dear. Your father told me what happened. Wedding photos. I guess they don't allow cameras in a jail cell. Ah, well, we keep the memories right here. Right here. <laughs> Use your clothes, ma'am? Well, they're, they're, they're certainly not my husband's. Hmm. They don't look like they're your style, Miss Spencer. Actually, I prefer Mrs. Lewis, and those are my business clothes, the yeah. ones that I wear when I need, you know, investors Which, and so forth and right. so on and so forth. Uh, where are the rest of your things? We, uh, with the, well, we haven't had time to bring everything. No, it happened so yet. fast and it's been it very quick. stressful and it's just a lot to adjust oh. to. So. Is that what you two were arguing about when I came in? With the, no, that, no, that's no, just like no, newly no. Like newly, stuff, like, right? what, squeezing from the middle, yeah, squeezing Aunt from Olivia, yeah, right, you... hey guys, come on. Don't lie to Agent Lafferty. Among other things, that's a federal offense. Didn't you say you have dinner plans? Because we don't want to keep you. No. They were arguing about me. Oh, well, it was less of an argument, more of a spat, really. I came over, spur of the moment, and said, let's have dinner together tonight. And Aunt Liv was up for it, but Uncle Bill said, you know, it's still officially their honeymoon, and 
Well, you know, he wants her to himself tonight. And I know that Aunt Liv wants to be alone with him, too. But she could tell that I was at loose ends, and she took pity on me. She is, she is such a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. The best. You know, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that they had to rush the wedding because of the whole deportation thing. You know, I was really looking forward to walking you down the aisle with Sam. Sam's her brother, my uncle. She was going to walk down the aisle between us, one on each arm. You were planning a wedding before this? Oh, yeah, yeah the yeah. church reception at the Beacon. Hey, you should come. You guys are still going to do the reception, right? That's the plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, folks. Thanks for your time. I'll be in touch. Okay. So, that, that's it? That's all? For tonight. There'll be more questions, formal interviews. But for now, uh, I think I've got everything I need. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> well, he bought it. And I just did you guys a huge favor. So, now it's payback time. If you'll excuse us. <clears throat> Like, why do you think Judge Donatello issued a restraining order? Well, I guess it pays to be the mayor's wife. Do you think this is funny? Oh, no. Ross, this is tragic. It's tragic that you don't see how dangerous Dinah is. But you know what? I do, and a judge agrees with me. So as long as I stay close to you, Dinah can't. Well, sweetheart, it works the other way around, too. You just love watching them fight over you, don't you? It's okay, honey. It's always stressful meeting the parents. What's that, a dog or a mop? Dad? Yeah? Are you here checking up on me? No. Ugh. Yes, you are. You're here to make sure that I'm not going to blow this whole making amends thing, aren't you? Never crossed my mind, just in the neighborhood. But I found something. You went in my room? Well, I'm just curious. You know, you're always scribbling away at something. Dad, it's nothing. No, it's not nothing. That is amazing. It, the places you've been all around the world? Not all over the world. And you can write. I mean, who knew you're such a great writer? Dad, it's just words on paper, uh, mostly experiences. The first few pages. Now, Dad, please don't. It's an there. itinerary. There are plans, places you have yet to visit. They're your dreams, I can tell. That stuff can wait for a while. <sighs> dreams should never wait. No, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Good girl. That is what your father would want you to say. I can help you, dear. Help me how? If you want to talk, I'm a very good listener. And I'm very discreet. That's why your father hired me. I must admit, I am surprised that you came back here after everything that's happened. Here, knowing what you know. You're a very brave young girl. No, actually, I'm not brave at all. Lizzie, dear, do you want to talk about it? Why am I here? To keep me close to you and away from Cassie. You really are insecure, aren't you? Everything we've been to one another has been based on Cassie since day one. And I'm fine with that. I will take the downside because the upside feels so incredibly good, but even I have my limits. What's that supposed to mean? When you are with me, be with me. Don't phone it in. Act like you care even if you don't, and especially in front of my father. Why? So you'll get people to believe that you're on the straight and narrow now? Exactly. And I can move on with my life, and you can stop worrying what I might do to Cassie. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. I'd rather take you. Home and okay, but not until you say yes. Like, why did you do that? Because Dinah scares me. And you couldn't think of a better way to handle it? Well, I thought about telling my husband, the man who's supposed to protect me, but I'm realizing, unfortunately, that he doesn't care about my feelings. Maybe that's because you keep doing one foolish and impulsive thing after another. Foolish. 
My restraining Dinah is impulsive, but you are methodically locking me up in a jail cell. Now, that's oh, perfectly yeah, acceptable. I see, I, that's what this is all about. No, it's not. I'm just trying to make a point, Ross. No, what you're doing is undermining my relationship with my daughter. Now, why don't you just come up and admit it? You want me to choose between you and Dinah. Yes, I do. I want you to pick right now. So, what I want is uh, a nice big sweep at the Beacon. I'm thinking jacuzzi, big TV, and all my expenses paid for, including bar and restaurant tabs. <laughs> he, he. Fine. Well, are Fine. you? Are you? He's blackmailing you. That's no, what's going he's on. not. He's family. He needs a roof over his head. And he's asking for a favor. Oh, that's. It's fine. I'll do it, okay? I'll call Cameron at the front desk and tell him to expect you. Can we see that, Uncle Bill? Hmm? How one hand washes the other. I'll give you a hand. <laughs> no, it's a good thing. Look, uh, if he's oh, staying at the beacon, oh, I can keep an eye on him. Maybe I, I can talk to him and get him to open up to Open me. up what, so he can take advantage of you some more? He could have you... wrecked everything, but he didn't. Because he wanted something. That's what's going. He's a punk. Reva and Josh should, should be at a, a great place in her life, and then this kid comes out of nowhere, and now everything is just haywire. Wait a minute! What? No, well, I can't believe you're saying this. Are I mean, you... God, your child comes into your life, and all of a sudden it's a burden. I don't know how to break the news to you, Bill, but you're going to be a father. <laughs> I just feel like I'm all alone with this big secret. I mean, yeah, my dad knows, of course, but. Well, isn't there anyone else you can talk to about this? Does your mother know? Oh, dear. To carry that burden all by yourself. No one to share it with. Well, I mean, I tell Roxy. My puppy. Well, of course you do. She's your friend, and you can trust her. Just like you can trust me. Go ahead, Lizzie. Tell me about the accident. Coop. If you're staying out of obligation... Dad, I'm not. I don't do that to my kids, okay? If Spalding is the reason that you're not going after your dreams... Dad, it's going to be fine, all right? I'm going to fulfill my debt to Spalding's... Uh, my debt. And I'm going to stay here with my family. Oh, cool. I wonder what those two are talking about. Lizzie does look upset, though. I don't want to know. I'm going to go home. All right. See you there. Oh, yeah, actually, you're going to be seeing me pretty soon. I get off here soon. Um, Dad. Yeah? Thanks for stopping by. Billy? Hey. Hey, don't give me that look. This, this is not what it looks like here. You sure about yeah, that? Yeah, I'm sure. I, I never go in and drink. I just sometimes when I'm tense, I think about drinking. Since when? I mean, the last time I saw you like this was last year during yeah. the carry mess. Oh, come on. Look, just, just talk to me for a second. Cause, um, I'm telling you, Philip Spalding, yeah, I, I'm coming. I'm, I'm this close to just... You're doing him serious bodily harm? Yeah. Get in line. Hello, ladies. What's happening? Excuse me, young man. It's Please. Coop. My name is Coop. Yes, Coop, dear. Oh, Lizzie's very upset, dear. Can you just give us a minute? Please? No, you know what? Um, thanks, Ruth, but I'm not upset at all. Lizzie, dear. Dear, you were about to tell me something. I don't have anything to say. By Dinah being this close to me, she's in violation of the restraining order. Either she or I have to leave. It's your choice. That's not a choice. It's an ultimatum. And ultimatums make me do things I normally wouldn't do. Well, that certainly sounds like a threat to me. The statement of fact. See you at home. Maybe I won't be coming home, Ross. Fine. But if you don't, that's your choice. First, we don't have a relationship, and then you want to jump me. I think you should make up your mind. Duty calls. Watch it be Cassie in distress again. 
Yeah, O'Neill. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, right. I'm on my way. Oh, my gosh, it was Cassie. Now you're going to start winning. This is pathetic. Leaving, Trevor? I'm sorry, Ross. I'd love to stay, but I got to go. Dinah, I think we should go as well. Okay. Um, what's going on with Blake? I don't know. What Blake chooses to do, it's up to her. Come on, let's go. I will tell your father that you are all right. Of course I'm all right. Why wouldn't I be? Of course. All right then. Good night. Good night. There's something very weird about that lady. What did she want? You know, I really don't need you bothering right now. Please, I do not need your questions. Huh. I'm sorry. I was just trying to be human. Are you telling me that... Are you... Are Pregnant? You, yeah. No! No! I'm talking about Emma. Oh. Come on. I, I mean, mean you, you, you're officially her stepfather. You can't say things like that. What are you talking... This has nothing to do with her. This is about John. You don't think that Emma has a burden then? No. Not at... I, not at all. I'm crazy about her, but... I mean, look, I, mean, I know we haven't talked about this, but... You know, maybe she shouldn't get so attached to me because, it, you know, I could confuse her, and I, I wouldn't want that. No. No. Of course not. Right. And I wouldn't want that either. Oh. So. Um, you know, we were going to do some work tonight, but I am so tired after all this. Can we do it some other time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... that's... Good. Can I leave my stuff here? Yeah, do you mind? Of course. No, yeah. When um when okay. do you want to bring the rest of your stuff over? Can... Whatever, a couple days. Sure, you wanna okay. okay. I'll call you okay. in the morning. Alright. Okay. Night. Night, honey. Yeah. I'm not gonna let myself go there. All right, Lizzie. I'm getting ready to take off, so the car's leaving. If you still want to ride, the time is now. I'm not ready to go yet. That's fine, but I'm off the clock in seven minutes. And I'm not stopping, and I'm not staying. Well, how am I going to get home? Drive yourself. No, I can't drive. Why? Because I, I, had, a, I had a beer. What happens if I get pulled over? Then just leave the car here and uh, take a cab. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, no, I'll go with you. What did Philip do to you? Uh, uh, well, it's not so much... It's not what Philip did, it's what I did. I did something very stupid, and it backfired on me. Ah, and Philip... And Philip... Philip found out about it, and he's uh, holding it over my head. Matter of fact, he's threatening me, and he's threatening Bill. That seems to be Philip's favorite pastime these days. Oh. So you're talking about me? It's okay. I'm actually flattered. You shouldn't be. Is my daughter's chauffeur in there? Because I kind of wanted to see how he's doing on his first day on the job. Hi. Daddy! Hey, Are oh. you okay? Perfect. You're here. Now you can take her home. What? I just need a hug. That's all, Daddy. Why? Was he being mean to you? No, um... See, uh, Ruth came over here and she was talking about, you know, and it just brought up a lot of stuff. What, Ruth was talking about what? About her secret. What? The accident. No. Ruth knows about that? Well, you told her, didn't you? Honey. You didn't tell her? How does she know? I don't know how she knows, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll take care of it. Hey, you just missed the... I uh, was this close. I had Lizzie in the palm of my hand. Lizzie. 
And then Coop showed up. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait back up. Are you, are you telling me your hunch was right? That Lizzie knows that Philip was involved in the hit and run? Yes, and it is killing her to keep quiet. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I was this close to getting her to crack. Now, I've got to finagle a way to cross paths with her again, Ho hopefully tomorrow. All right, well, uh, can I ask you a dumb question? What if Lizzie tells Philip that you were asking questions about the accident? Exactly. That mm -hmm. could be a problem. That's why I have to see her tomorrow before she compares notes with Philip. It's Ruth. Oh, okay. It's Philip. All right. All right. Ruth Karloff. Yeah, Ruth, it's Philip Spaulding. Uh, listen, I'm sorry to call you so late, but um, something's come up, and I need you to take care of it right away.